guys. Good day once again. My name is Teacher Marian and welcome to Science 9 Tutorials. Let's learn and have some fun. I assume that everyone read the self-learning kit, so let's check your understanding. Let's play some game. Are you ready? What can you see are jumbled letters. I want you to find different parts of volcano based on the given definitions. Let's start! For our clue, you can find the answers horizontally. Let's start! Number 1. It refers to rocks and larger debris that are thrown into the air during an eruption. Hmm, what do you think is the answer? Great job! It's volcanic bombs. Next question. It is a molten rock still underneath the ground. Hmm. That's right. The answer is magma. Very good. Next question is, it is a cone that builds up around the secondary vents. Hmm. Can you see the answer? Oops! That's right! It's secondary code. Excellent! Next! It is a place where magma reaches the surface without going through the vent. Hmm. Can you guess what's the answer? Very good. It's secondary vent. Good job. Next question. It is the main tube that connects the magma chamber into the surface. Hmm. Can you see the answer? Oh, it's there. Main vent is the answer. You're doing well. Great job. Now let's proceed to the next question. For the answer, you can find it vertically. It refers to the molten rocks after it reaches the surface. Hmm. You're right. It's lava. Next. It is known as the storage of magma. Hmm. Can you see the answer? Oh, it's there. It's magma chamber. Very good. Next is, it is a cloud which is, which is pushed out of a volcano. What do you think is the answer? Hmm, that's right. It's ash, gas, and steam. Very good. For the last question, you can find it diagonally. It refers to circular depression at the top of a volcano. Can you guess? Where is it? That's right! Creator. Good job! Excellent! Now that you successfully identified the different parts of the volcano, let us label its parts. Great job! According to philnews.ph, there are 53 active volcanoes in the Philippines. It's no wonder why one of the sources of energy we have is geothermal energy. And these are the following places where geothermal energy is used to tap electricity. Tiwi Albay, 
Kidapawan North Cotabato, Calacan Laguna, Tugunan Leyte, and Bacon Sorsogon. Shoes on the left is the picture of Bacman Geothermal Power Plant in Bicol Region. According to the Freeman, the Visayan Electric Company known as VECO is now embracing half of its power supply to renewable energy, which includes geothermal sources. This is mainly to mitigate the effects of climate change. Why geothermal energy? Simply because it is reliable, the energy itself is eco-friendly, and considering that Philippines has many volcanoes, these sources can be found locally and most of all, affordable. You might be wondering how geothermal energy works. Let's take a look at this picture. Geothermal energy simply begin by digging a hole down into the earth and as the hole gets deeper, and so its temperature, because originally inside of the earth is full of heat. This heat is called geothermal energy. There are two types of geothermal energy. First is geothermal power plants, which use heat from deep inside the earth to generate steam to make electricity. While the second one is geothermal heat pumps, which tap heat close to the Earth's surface to heat water or provide heat for buildings. In conclusion, geothermal power plants and geothermal heat pumps both harvest its energy underneath the Earth. Yet for geothermal power plant, it has a large scale size and output that can generate electricity to cities or region. While geothermal heat pumps usually provide heating and cooling for single homes. Let's take a closer look on the steps in how to generate electricity in geothermal power plant. For the first step, wells are drilled into the earth to pump steam or hot water to the surface. Second, when the water reaches the surface, the drop in pressure causes the water to turn into steam. Third step, the steam spins a turbine which is connected to a generator that produces electricity. Fourth, cooling tower cools the steam which condenses back to water. For the last step, cool water is pumped back into the earth to begin the process again. This is the reason why geothermal energy is considered a renewable energy. As you learn about the different parts of volcano and the renewable energy we can get out from it, let me give my thoughts of the day. As policymakers and big corporations continue to make a move to embrace renewable energy to save the earth, may we also be responsible in our own actions, most especially in conserving energy. By simply turning off the lights and appliances when not in use is a great way to help the environment. We must take responsibility for sustainable development.